name's Kevin and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to have a look at making a back and plate for this collet chuck to fit onto. Um, obviously we're going to machine it and it's got to be threaded to fit onto the nose, the spindle nose on the lathe. So anyway we'll have a look at that and then we'll get on with the machine and of that. So first things first, I'm going to take the four jaw off and we're going to have a measure of the um, spindle nose itself and see what we need to you know, what we need to machine that uh, piece of stock down to. Right, so first of all, we'll just measure the overall distance on the um, threads itself, so, you know, the overall diameter. I have pre-measured this before, but I just want to double check my measurements. Fifty-nine seventy-one. So I'm guessing that's a sixty mil thread. Fifty nine seventy five, and we'll just see what the back part is here, and that is fifty nine eighty eight. And then the register itself, which is where the chuck is going to get its accuracy from as it slides onto here and sits up against this face, we'll have a measure, and that's what we need to get accurate. So, well it says 61, uh, 62, 62 mil spot on that is. So what we'll do is we'll machine the chuck and we'll machine it just down to, just below that size. Or, um, and then we'll just, you know, we'll have a test fit and make sure that that fits on there. And obviously we've got to cut those threads. So the other thing we need to measure is the distances for the... Um, various machine is what we need to do so if I allow if I allow that back to be 15 then it's 30 35 to the front of the uh, spindle nose. And the thread. I'm going to cut a thread relief at the back here anyway, but we'll see what. So we've got 20 mil, 20 mil of thread. So we'll set our piece of stock up in the four jaw. <clears throat> I was going to use the three jaw chuck, but the trouble is that the jaws are going to get in the way by the time we get to a hole of around this size. And I'm not going to be able to cut the threads because I want to do it all in one operation. So cut the regis, cut, face this end, cut the hole in, and um, you now obviously uh, dimension the thread size first. So the when we cut the threads, the bore and bar for the threads or the thread bar is going to come through and stick through you know the other side so I don't want to damage the jaws on the three jaw
Right, now starts the job of getting it set up in the four jaw. So, I'm not going to get it 100% because obviously the, the saw cut on the front here as well wasn't, you know, wasn't true when I got them, you know, a piece of stock. So, um, you know, as long as it's near enough, because we're going to be machining, you know, obviously the, the diameter of this as well. So, as long as we get it in the ballpark, that's all I'm really worried about. So that's high there. So that's high there. Right, that's near enough, so we'll just nip it, make sure it's tight. Just one last chip. Yep, that's good enough. Right, so we're now ready to face off and then we'll start our, we'll drill the hole um, straight through. Uh, the biggest drill bit I've got is a 20 mil, so we'll have to start with that, and then um, obviously use the bore and bar to then take it out to the size what we need. So we're going to take it out to the size of the thread, and so this is the three jaw chuck. So as you can see here, let's just make sure that you can see it. You can see there the thread. So the, this inside diameter of this thread here is what we're going to be boring to first, and then obviously. We'll cut. Um, we'll bore these other two, this register here, and the um, the second one in, and then obviously we can cut the threads last of all. So anyway, right now we'll start to drill the hole through the centre.
right, so the hole's out to 20 mil. So uh, we'll set up the boring bar and we'll start to increase the size of that hole. So first of all, we've got to get this, uh, get the tool square to the work. So the easiest way to do that is Right, now starts the laborious job of boring out the hole. That's the first stage of the machine and done. So we've done a finished cut across the face and we've also done a finished cut in here and this is the um, the height of the threads. So we now we've got to machine the middle bit and then we've got to machine the register at the back here. So we'll have a set up for that and uh, we'll get machining on that. So we need to cut from this face down 32 mil and then we need to obviously take that out for that middle section and then after that is where the thread's going to be so what we need to do is find our depth into here so what we're going to do first we'll just set up the boron bar on the very edge of this face here and that's going to be our datum and the best way I'm going to be able to do this is set up on the vernier here and zero it this hasn't got to be 100% accurate as long as that's you know within the ballpark because there is a I'm, I have allowed a bit of um, leeway, and then we need to now wind this in. Thirty-two mil, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, and thirty-two. So we'll lock the depth gauge off for that and then once we start machining in we'll see where we need to stop as the um, as the carriage comes up to the stop. That's the rough and cuts all done. So what we'll do now, we'll swap over to a better cutter for um, or better boring bar. This one's got a better tip on for finishing cuts, and we'll just change the speed up a bit as well. swap over and um, I'll just go back to the rough and tool and we'll just cut the actual register so the very first cut around here and then obviously we'll finish off with a finishing tool to get a nice um, finish you know some nice clean finish and then we'll just break this um, the start of this hole as well just so we don't just quite rough on that quite sharp Same again, we'll set the depth stop up again.
Right, so bring the boring bar down and just touch the very end and then set that to zero. And come in 16. Fifteen, fifteen and a half, sixteen. All right, set our dip gauge. All right, we're ready to go. So we've just got to open this out to um, sixty-two mil. We're going to try. And then I've got my plug here, so we'll take this out to 62 and um, we'll just have a measure. But that's what it's got to match is the register on here, which is the, exactly the same as the, what the spindle nose is.